Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Arts feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, March the 14th. I've got Liz Smith with us today, League of Women Voters. Good to have you here, Liz. Good morning. This is a very, very busy time of year for the League of Women Voters. We love it. We love it. <laughs> and not just now, but through November. I mean, you ladies <laughs> are, are really going to be... And think of the commercials they can sell on all the yes, radio and TV yes. stations. Now, you've got... Uh, let's, let's talk about the election that's coming up here in uh, central Missouri. It's March Missouri. 5th, March 15th, our presidential primary. Yeah. And and uh, there are 11 uh, Republican candidates and nine Democrats. And I think there's two or three Libertarians. Okay. You have to specify which ballot you right. want. Right. So this is, the, this is the election where you go in and you say, I want a Democrat ballot or I want a Republican ballot or I want a uh, uh, libertarian. Probably libertarian. And you can be independent, but that means no candidates. All you get is a roll cards. Oh, so if you say you want... Independent, you cannot vote for a presidential candidate. Can you even write one in? No, I suppose you could, but I don't think it would count. <laughs> you can right, write so anything you want on your ballot. Keep, keep that in mind. That's March the 15th. <laughs> then, if you live here in Columbia, the roll cart. Yes, is that up. is the big one. Mm. And it's an opposite ballot. If you want to retain what we have, the black bags, you vote yes. Yes. If you want to talk about roll carts or experiment with roll carts or whatever, you have to vote no. Okay. So See, it's I think that's somewhat ballot. confusing. I think yes. it's confusing because you think if you don't want the roll carts, you're going to vote no. That's right. But if you want the roll carts, you vote yes. If you... Let's see. If you want roll carts, you, you vote no. no. You vote no. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't want the roll carts, yeah, you vote you, yes. Yeah. Keep Read the ballot very carefully. <laughs> very carefully. Okay. <laughs> then what that, else? And that noon, my, uh, March 15th, we have a lunch and learn out at High V, mm -hmm. uh, which is on Nifong, the South Ni High V. And we have Dr. Pam Conway, who's executive director of a, a new group that's formed in Boone County. All the schools and um, communities are working together, working on achievement gap, and working with kids that have um, maybe not a stable home home life, uh -huh. particularly. It's called Cradle to Career Achievement. And that'll be when? That's uh, March 15th, same day at okay. noon, in and case then... you don't want to vote all day. <laughs> okay. March 21? March got... 21, we're having a forum for the Columbia School Board candidates and the tax and bond issue there. Okay. And then on March 23rd, which is a Wednesday night at the library, we're going to have uh, candidates for Columbia Mayor, Ward, one, uh, Ward 3 and 4. Okay. And you are just busy as can be. If you try to get a hold of Liz Smith during this election cycle year, just leave a, leave leave a, a message. Leave a message. I will okay. get back to you. All right. Liz Smith, if people want more information Thank about you. the league, they uh, call. Yes. 573-657-1467. Uh, Thank you. Sir. Or you can do LB, lwvcbc.org. Got it. Liz Schmidt, League of Women Voters. Now we turn to my friend over here, Scott Bradley from Carpet One. It's a pleasure to have you here, Scott. Uh, and it, since you have been on, we've been talking about sustainable green flooring, right? Mm -hmm. And today you have the greenest of the green flooring that you can yeah. come up with, even though it's not green. <laughs> but this is, this is about uh, as renewable as you can go. Yeah, you get to double dip a little bit because it's a strand woven bamboo uh -huh. infused with cork. So th this flooring, which looks like an oak floor, is act and it and it feels it's really tough. It feels this is bamboo and cork. Yes, and it's cork infused and it's rated for severe commercial use. Mm -hmm. So. So if it's severe commercial use, if you put it in your house, it, it's going to last 100 years or more. You won't walk through that wear layer. Now, explain when you say it's bamboo-infused cork. What, mm -hmm. what are we looking at here? What, what it really does is it adds interest to a bamboo floor. 
and it's a strand woven, which that's the, the hardest bamboo they make. But uh, it has some interest to it. And, and the, the little, the, the grain that you're looking at here, that's the cork. Yes. But it doesn't feel like cork. It feels like, it feels like oak wood. Yes. You were telling me that the bamboo grows how many inches in a day? Uh, this is a moso bamboo, and it grows up to 47 inches a day in 24 hours. In 24 yeah. hours, it grows 47 inches. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's very renewable as far as harvesting it, using it for flooring, and it's growing again. And as it's growing, it's putting oxygen in the air. Yes, and our Carpet One bamboo, it's harvested at precisely six years, which is the, the best time to take bamboo because it is not, if it's taken too early, it's too soft, and if it's taken too late, it's too brittle. Mm -hmm. And six years has been found to be the... So with this flooring, we know it's a green flooring, which means that it's, it's good for the environment. What about the air inside your house. Now we've seen news reports of some flooring and not from Carpet mm -hmm. One, but that some flooring is actually hazardous to your health. What is the, what's the story on this? Yeah, this Carpet One uh, strand woven cork infused bamboo is certified by an independent third party. It's Green Guard Gold certified, which is the highest certification for indoor air quality. And they, what is that, Green Guard? Yeah, Green Guard Gold. Certified, Green Guard Gold, gold certified. certified, and okay. they're an independent testing laboratory, and they test the products. Mm -hmm. And I think that what so many people are concerned about nowadays is protecting our environment, because over the years we have we have given so much abuse to this earth that we live on, and it's the only. It's the only Earth we have. It's our little planet spinning out there in space. And when you talk about uh, doing improvements for your home, if you can do them in a green, friendly way, we all benefit. Mm -hmm. We all benefit from that. So, uh, and, and this is just one of the many different uh, uh, green products that you have, right? Absolutely. And my hat's off to the flooring industry because I feel like they've really kind of taking the lead on indoor air quality and environmental uh, yeah, and you've seen You've seen over the years how the flooring industry has changed heading that Absolutely. way? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I'd say they are, as far as home furnishings, they're ahead of the curve. Okay. If people want more information, they can come into Carpet One. Your uh, uh, address is? 105 Business Loop, 70 East. Okay. Or Missouri. they can go to the website at uh, midmofloorpros.com. <laughs> right. Scott Bradley, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for coming by. Always a pleasure to have you here. And I like our, our floor art that we have on the on the yeah, floor here from Carpet yeah. One. All right. Tomorrow, we've got Barbara Buffalo from the City of Columbia, the roll cart queen herself. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Trevor Harris from KBIA. Our floor director is Ariel Sierra. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Bye-bye.